Uh, this is uh, Amy's husband, and uh, I, I made uh, livery, took a livery, and made my own like a uh, custom civilian uh, ration, cold weather. Uh, there, I was going to say uh, just a little bit of stuff before I opened everything up and everything, and that, that there's a challenge to make a civilian cold weather ration, and that's because, uh, you know, obviously it's going to be supposed to be made for really cold weather, and if you have a lot of moisture in, in the items, then you know that's a challenge because it, it, it'll freeze up on you and it'd be like trying to thaw a block of ice and the other thing is is that most of those you know if you were going to design it like along the classic lines of a 24-hour ration the thing would be would that be that uh, the problem there would be that you know you need to have about 6,000 calories per soldier per day as a, as a minimum so th those are two challenges I had to overcome by making this and uh, we're just going to put it all out uh, and, and then we'll take a, a shot and we're going to have breakfast this video and then we'll have lunch, dinner and a snack, the snacks all together in a second video. Uh, so here's uh, what we got in, in, the, in no particular order. We got a sweet and sour pork uh, mountain house. And we got an uh, apple crisp dessert mountain house. Those are all freeze dried, the mountain houses are. Now these are the, the mains. We have a breakfast skillet, uh, mountain house, and we're thinking that's probably going to be for breakfast. And we got the, the biscuits and gravy mountain house. And we got a chili mac and, uh, with beef mountain house. And uh, here's, a, here's, a, here's probably going to be a snack. We got a bacon uh, jerky beef maple. I mean, uh, bacon jerky, maple, breakfast maple. We got some uh, freeze dried fruit. Uh, we got a good old uh, protein bar. We got some uh, dark chocolate. And I think that dark chocolate is popular in the rations because it doesn't melt as quite as easily as, uh, as, as your regular milk chocolate. We got a, a bison bison bar. We got a couple of uh, crackers and a couple of cookies. I, I believe those are Lance brand, even though they're not marked as it. And we got an accessory pack here. So we got like a, your MRE spoon. We got a couple of. Uh, of uh, drink mixes for 60 ounce bottles of water. Uh, let's see what you got. Four of these uh, dude wipes for on the go. Those would be like your moist napkins. And uh, we got two coffees and uh, Four, uh, four types of tea, uh, spice cider, and uh, we have a cocoa, uh, six packages of sugar. Eight of the eight of the peppers, uh, nine peppers, I guess. Uh, two big packs of salt, a box of matches, and uh, you know I've, I actually put in a couple of toothpicks, you know. And what I did was basically just put a little bit of tape there to put them together, you know, so they'd be together. And uh, since we were going to have a, an Asian dish, I, I just put in you know, as, a, as a different kind of thing some duck sauce and some uh, soy sauce and we have like one thing a creamer the creamer is kind of hard to get in little packages now so we'll uh, in just a minute have that all organized out so you can see it a lot better
Okay, we got everything set up and uh, we took out the oxygen absorbers. Uh, and my wife threw those away. And uh, this one, uh, the biscuits and gravy and the uh, the breakfast skillet or what we're having for breakfast. The biscuits and gravy was uh, one and a half cups of boiling water. And the, uh, no, the, the, the skillet was one and a half cups and the biscuit and gravy is one and three quarters cups of water if you're interested in case you were like packing that you know in somewhere or something like that. And it takes uh, eight to nine minutes to cook both of them. Uh, and they have a nice handy uh, zip lock here to seal it, seal it up. I know in some of the old uh, old school MREs, you know, you had to uh, you had to uh, you know, use a you know you would want to bring a paper clip or uh, you know people used talked about using a paper clip or uh, or a clothespin or something like that to close it up. But these actually do come with Ziplocs, these new ones. And uh, we decided uh, to take a, a, the coffee one of the co one of the coffees and the cocoa and make like a mocha here, and the other one is. Uh, it's a breakfast tea, a Pickwick breakfast tea, English breakfast tea, and uh, other than that, we got some MRE spoons and like a toothpick, you know, from the thing, and, and, and of course, uh, yeah, we have some salt in case we want to have that with the with the uh, eggs and biscuits and gravy and some black pepper. Our code drink is strawberry and watermelon. So. Uh, that's what we decided anyways to have for breakfast like I said though I mean keep in mind that you know we, we are trying to approximate about 6,000 calories and before I forget I want to say that I learned a lot from Old Smokey and and, and Sticky Finger 745 uh, over the years and uh, I really appreciate their help and everything and I've, I've learned a lot from both of them a lot and uh, kind of dedicate this video to, to them. You know, uh, we got like a, we only got like a minute and a half or so to wait uh, left to it before we can take out the, the biscuits and gravy and the, and the, and the egg skillet. So, that's and of her. course <laughs> Miss Catherine's got to say hi. <laughs> Uh, we've got our dude wraps to wrap our hands off. Of course, as any rations, you get an issue of paper for yeah. either a napkin or if you need to go. So, what better way to clean your hands than with something that you can clean up with? Yeah. Dude wraps. They are available in the store as a box if you wish to have. Yeah. Well, we got like 20 seconds and that'll be it on that. So. We'll, be do, we'll be doing more eating uh, on the next video. <laughs> <laughs> we got like a lunch, dinner, and we're going to have a, uh, of course, we're going to have all the snacks too. So. Uh, yeah. Why don't you do one more, one more final stir on that there, you know, on that, that one there, and then we'll do the same thing with the other one, you know, and, and then hopefully we'll be okay. Make sure those corners, that, that's where it hurts is the corners. You can certainly smell the biscuits. Yeah. My baby's looking forward to the biscuits and gravy. <laughs> I've never tried it. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just pour all of them in that one there? You know, we'll just we'll put the eggs in that one. And then we can, you know, and well, if that's what you want to do. I mean, well, no matter. Whatever you want to do is fine. You know? Well, we'll do that. Uh, yeah. Well, I will put some of this off on the side so you can have a taste because I know you're not going to want to put a bunch of pepper in this one, which is what I want. I can always put some of that in this other container over here because I'm like, like I said, you're probably not going to want pepper and I'm going to want a lot of pepper, you know? Yeah. So, since you're more excited about that, I'm going to put some of this on the side for me and you can have the biscuits and gravy and put that on the, on the, in the other little column over there for me, you know? And I've had the biscuits and gravy, but I haven't had the, the skillet and she's had the skillet before and I, I haven't had the, the skillet before, so. 
we'll go ahead and get this all set up here. You know, I got her some uh, some over on the side there. She's not a big uh, green pepper. This thing has uh, hash browns, scrambled eggs, uh, pork sausage patty, peppers, and onions. And so she's not a big pepper and onion fan. So, I mean, you can see though, there's quite a bit of food there between the two, isn't it? Mm -hmm. there's, sure quite is. a, there's quite a volume of food. A soldier would be happy with this, I think, in the morning. <laughs> Civilian, too, huh? No, I mean, they do claim that these are two servings apiece on the package, so, you know, what can I say? So, I'm going to put a little bit of this in here. Yeah. I know you're not going to want any pepper, are you? No. Yeah, I, I knew that, you know? So, yeah. You know. Looks like we did a real good job mixing them. I mean, it's real important to make sure that water is boiling, though. I mean, boiling or else it won't cook right. I mean, it's freeze dried, and you need to have the water real hot, or else it's not gonna uh, not gonna cook right. I'll, I'll wait on this. I'm gonna hold off on the salt because it might have quite a bit of salt in there. You know. Okay. So. And I'm gonna take my first bite of the sausage gravy. I'll do the sausage gravy then too. Pretty good, if I ask me. I thought it was pretty good. I'm gonna take another taste with the biscuit. Hmm. Surprisingly, the biscuit still has that bread type material in the center of it. That's not soggy in the middle. That's good, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the gravy, you can tell that you had to use water to mix it well and stuff. But it still has a decent flavor. It's not bad. I mean, it's pretty good. I would be happy with that, you know? The sausage isn't overpowering like a normal sausage. But... Um, for some people that can be considered a good thing, especially if you're um, like allergic to spices that's used in sausage. But overall, considering that this is a freeze-dry, watered-down packet, it does have very good flavor. It really does. Want to try the eggs now? I'm going to try the eggs. I think it's flavored real good. The, the, if you like peppers, onions, you'll you'll like this. It has a little bit of the same kind of texture as the uh, biscuits and gravy. A little bit of carbs with the hash browns, quote unquote hash browns in there. There's like a hash brown in there. The um, flavor to me of the egg and sausage, um, it's very hard to describe. It's got the right amount of salt. Uh, you can definitely taste the um, the pepper vegetables. Well, you can see them in there too, at least the red ones. They have red and green in there. Yeah. But still on the whole part, the flavor isn't bad there either. It's kind of a toss-up to me, which I would prefer. I think they complement each other real good. Yeah. And if you're very hungry, you're waking up and you're going to have to go pack 10 or 15 miles that day or something, you know, you'd probably eat all this, you know? Right. I mean, that's a fact, you know? You, you know, know it'd probably be interesting. Let's go on ahead and do this. That's a good idea. Mmm. I like that. That is a winner. Mm -hmm. That was a good idea. Yeah. That that mm. is awesome. Now why don't we try our little hybrid thing here? Make sure it's mixed good. I'll let you do the honors first here. Alrighty. That's the coffee, the Folgers, and the and the cocoa together. It's 
still hot or not. That's got a very good mocha taste to it. it it's You could taste the dark chocolate, the uh, chocolate that's in the cocoa mix. It, it says that it's Cocoa Supreme. It's, here's a, here, here it is. The, it's the Cocoa Supreme Land of Lakes. Yeah. And you can still taste the coffee, but the mocha really comes through. It's excellent together. So it kind of acts like a, a little bit like a creamer, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah, kind of like a coffee creamer. Right Honestly, there, yeah. if this would be iced, it would taste quite similar to the McDonald's McCafe. Um, the great thing about instant coffee, it's not as strong as brewed coffee. And I think it complements a cocoa mix a lot better than a brewed coffee. Well, I'm going to taste this here. This one, like, uh, I didn't realize when I bought it, but it has, like, stevia in it, you know? Mm -hmm. So we'll see what this is. It's like watermelon and, and what is it, strawberry, right? Uh-huh. Surprising, it tastes pretty good, honestly. I think it tastes, all I can taste, though, is watermelon. I can't taste strawberry, honestly. I just taste a lot of of watermelon and it was real sweet like watermelon yeah, is. Yeah, you know? watermelon and the stevia makes it extra sweet. And you can still taste like an aftertaste. It's supposed to be natural though. It's supposed to be but, like a plant in South America or something. Yeah. Something like that. And there is an aftertaste to it though and it is extra sweet. Extra sweet. Stevia, I don't know. It's a very overpowering sweetener. Other than that, it's not that bad though. It was pretty good. Mm -hmm. If you like watermelon, you'd like it. You know? So, since I like the mix pretty good, I'm going to go on ahead and add my small portion into my gravy. I really like that together. <laughs> kind of reminds you of the Reese's uh, peanut butter cups. Two carry taste that taste great together, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> From the I don't way know. Back when. I don't know. The, like the. I don't know if the biscuit and gravy is complementing the eggs and sausage, or if the egg and sausage is complementing the biscuit and gravy. It's just, it's awesome together. And I would say this this uh, cocoa and, and, and coffee is pretty good, and I, I have to say I really am not a big fan usually of coffee to begin with, so that would actually be a lot of, uh, that would be actually a pretty good recommendation for that, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. I'm not really a coffee fan per se. You know? Right. So somebody who's not, I don't order cappuccinos at the at the Starbucks very often or anything, you know, so. I, li I like this, so I'm more, we, we could have added sugar to this. We have plenty of sugar packets, but we didn't add any sugar because I'm kind of on a low sugar uh, diet, you know, so uh, she, she went ahead and agreed that we just wouldn't put sugar in it this time, you know, mm -hmm. especially with the cocoa there, you know, so. And I'll take a small drink of the tea. Yeah, you have to be careful. To burn, yeah. Burn yourself in. Yeah. And then if you don't care, since you don't care very much for coffee, we'll take a switch. You have the tea, and I'll take the mocha. Okay. I had some of it. It was pretty good. It's a that's a good brand. I mean, I'm not gonna you know, complain about the brand. That's for sure. And uh, yeah. I drink green tea better than black tea anyway. Black tea seems to lay heavy on my stomach. One thing I would say though is that, that, that there's enough sugar with that, with, if you get that cocoa there, there's enough sugar, you don't need any more, you, you, you probably wouldn't need to add any more sugar to that. That's, add, mm -mm. That, that's like your, your creamer and your sugar and your, and your cocoa all at once there, adding yeah. to your coffee, you know? Yeah, you really don't, De definitely you, no sugar necessary. Boy, I'm real hungry, I can tell. And this is, You'd be hungry out in the woods. I'm hungry right now, so this works out good. As far as an idea for sodium, this thing, this uh, breakfast skillet claims that it has 13 grams of protein, and it's almost got your whole sodium for the day if you eat the whole package. It's like 980 milligrams because it says two servings, and that'd be almost 2,000 milligrams of sodium for your day. So. You might want to bring a lot of extra water just to flush that out. <laughs> You're going to be on, on backpacking, you know. And I listed, I listed the how much water because I mean, yeah, you know, you either carry the water in the ration or in this case, you know, since it's cold weather ration, you can't have water. You have to bring water with you, so you'd have to make sure that you you bring enough water 
or have purification tablets and access to water or something like that, you know, whatever you would do if you were bringing these, uh, you know, obviously you have to have water else so you're not going to be able to eat it. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the, whole, the whole idea is, is that, you know, you're, uh, you're adding the water to it, so if it's really cold outside, then, uh, you know, uh, it's not going to be a frozen block of ice, like I said earlier. And yeah, and I can tell oh, with the heated water, it is warming up the inside of my gut, so I can imagine being out and fixing this the way it's a, the way that it tells you to, and it would warm you up. I noticed that on the breakfast breakfast scallop, it shows that there's 13 grams of protein for it. And then with the little bit of sausage that's in the biscuit gravy, you got more protein there too. So. Yeah, they say they don't put the protein on the front of that one on the on the biscuits and gravy because it's only eight grams of protein per serving. So you'd have uh, twenty-one two, grams. Yeah, you'd have well, you'd have sixteen plus twenty-six. So okay, twenty-six. So you'd have twenty-six, thirty-six. You'd have forty-two grams of protein if you ate this whole entire thing yourself. And that would be your <laughs> daily allotment of protein for the day, which would help a whole lot. For a, well, for a regular person, the soldier yeah. probably need a lot more. You know. Yeah. Uh, Like I said, not to be nitpicky or anything, but uh, you know, there's a lot of sodium here too, so you want to probably have extra water just in case you know you might get the <clears throat> biscuits and gravy too has 900 milligrams per serving, so that's like 4,000, almost 4,000. Uh, you're you're edging close to 4,000 grams of sodium for breakfast. <laughs> Eat this whole thing. <laughs> so. In that case, whatever would be in your ration, you better hope that uh, what else you have is it is high in sodium or bring a lot of water mm -hmm. <laughs> you can bring a lot of water too I mean you I mean you'll be you'll be exerting too though you mean you'll be, you'll be perspiring and stuff and this yeah. doesn't this one doesn't have a Gatorade kind of thing in it so I mean in a way that's you know if you had a lot of water and along with that at least you'd have some sodium with it you know so yeah definitely wouldn't have to worry too awful much about um exerting too much and having a loss of salt anyway. Like having drawing muscles and being extra lethargic and stuff. So, I don't know, I'd give this like a four out of five out of, you know, for the, for the, for the breakfast, what do you think? Yeah. I see Mountain House came in, came through for this one. I'm going to give it a 3.5, and that's just because it's got the peppers. <laughs> but if you like peppers, it would be good, huh? If I liked pepper, I would literally give it a 5. I mean, everything in this ration that I made, too, I made it part, you know, on purpose for... At least everybody can easily find it in America. I don't know about if you were seeing this from somewhere else, but... All these things are easily, you know, ordered. You know? Some of the stuff might not, they might not make anymore. I'm not sure though. Some of the stuff is a little old. I mean, that's one other thing I am going to mention too is, is that these things have these these mountain house things have about a 30 year shelf life on all of them. I can't see where uh, the expiration date is on this one, but uh, most of these are like you know at least you know down in the corner there. This one here the. The breakfast skillet is good till 2048, and this uh, biscuits and gravy, eh, 2046. I know it's not 3046. It looks almost like a three. Uh huh. Uh, so that's good till 2046. You know, so I mean, it's like you know, 20 years basically. You know, you have a meal there ready to go if you just needed something. All you need to have is boiling water. You know. So if there would ever happen to be an apoc apocalypse, all you have to know is how to boil water when you got it made. Well, see, when Hurricane I came through, they didn't have electricity for for 17 days in some places in the in the city, you know. So, so 
I'm going to say, right? All right, guys, that concludes our break. Oh, we didn't, we didn't test our dude wipes here. Oh. We wipe our hands off. <laughs> See if this is how easy this thing is to open up here. Oh, there's a pure notch. Okay. The ladies first. <laughs> As you can see, that's a decent size, right? Yeah, there's a hint of odor, but mostly from the tissue itself, not because it, not because it's um, got odor to it. I think it claims that it's unscented, but I can't be for yeah. sure. That's what I was thinking. Um, but um, it does have just a small hint, uh, like a, a toilet paper smell that's unscented. You, there's just that scent. And it's just strong enough to use as a hand right. They also claim it's flushable. <laughs> Which comes in handy if you happen to find a newly made outhouse. <laughs> <coughs> mm. well, that'll, so, do, that'll do it till next video, I guess. We'll have the rest. Uh, stay tuned for part two with uh, uh, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Thanks for watching.